When you hover over a container, another item might appear on the screen and you can have as many items as you want. It's really simple and easy to do and we've covered this before, but we're now just gonna re-explore it with elemental containers. Over here, I am gonna add in a parent container and two child containers. I'm just gonna give my parent container a bit of padding just so we can see everything okay on there. And I'm then gonna get rid of that container there. I'm just showing you very quickly, easily, how you can use containers. Now into this container, we the child container, I'm gonna give it a background color just so we can see it and let's go and drop in a heading. This heading could be reveal more, show more. It could even have images in there, you know, and when you hover over the image, other stuff appears. And by the way, you could make text appear, videos appear. It, 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 within within a limitation, I wouldn't recommend making an accordion appear because when you try and click on it, it might not work, but there's a lot you can make appear. Now I'm now gonna add in a image into here and I, this image, I'm gonna go for a transparent background image like that. Just set this to be full. The key bit though is you must set the maximum width and the width, okay? I'm just gonna go with 300 for now because if you don't do that, when we start to move it, the size could increase or decrease, which is a pain in the ass. So if I go down now to where I have position and I set this to be a fixed, I could pick this up and move it wherever I want. The downside to that is, let's say your page is now 20 containers long. No matter where you scroll, that shuttle will always be there. And that's a pain in the ass unless you want to achieve that. Maybe you've got an icon on the left or right of your screen. You click it and it's like an off canvas pop-up menu and you want it to always be there. Then fixed is your friend because you want it to always be there no matter where you're scrolling. But on a normal website, you're far better going for an absolute. Now, when you do that, you will notice here that at the moment it's gone down to this side of the screen. Um, I'm just gonna zero everything out for a moment just to explain to you that this container at the moment, if I go and hit left, it's on the left of the container. If I hit right, it goes to the right. Now, why is it not going all the way to the right of the screen down here? Because it sits inside the child container. The origin is there. If the origin was here, so if just check the navigator, look, there's the image in the child. If it was instead over here in the parent, left would take it there, right would take it there. And likewise, if we go over here to where we have the top and bottom, if you hit top, it'd go all the way to the top. If you hit bottom, it would go all the way to the bottom. I'm just gonna move it to be over there. Let's just say I'm gonna pop it over here somewhere like that. And I'm gonna call it the shuttle. Now, if you are gonna have five extra items appear, so let's say you're gonna have a shuttle and another shuttle appear, you could give them separate CSS class names or just give them all the same name. So let's say you want all five items to appear. Just call them appear, all of them, call them all appear. You don't have to have separate names because you can make this be really efficient. We've called this now shuttle. Now I'm gonna go over to my child container. You go down to advanced, go to custom CSS, and we're gonna drop in a little bit of code. As soon as I do that, the shuttle has disappeared. So let's just study the code. Selector, which is obviously I'm selecting the container. You can see what's happening. I've given it away by hovering over it, right? The selector is the container. If your container had a name, like let's say our container, I mean, look, let's just do it. Let's go to our container. Just so you fully understand, I'm going to give my container a class name and I'm going to call it a uh, child C. Okay, so let's go back over to our advanced tab, which we already are in. Go down here and instead I'm going to say dot child C. So you can see it is working, but let's just leave it as selector for simplicity. Okay, the selector dot shuttle, the opacity for the shuttle is zero, invisible in a way. Then there's a bit of a transition with how quick it appears. You can quicken it or you can slow it down. You might want to go for a 0.3. Then when you hover, so selector colon hover, the shuttle, the opacity is one. You hover, look, it now appears. And like I said, if I was to now duplicate this, so now I've got two of these like say that, and they both have the shuttle ID. Look, can you see that? But this is the really simple and easy way of how, without using any complicated CSS or other third-party plugins, how you could make something appear on your screen when you hover. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. See you soon.
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that